Welcome back to another episode of Land of Italy. Episode number four to be exact. And if you haven't noticed, it's raining. There really isn't a whole lot that we can do in the rain. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we might be able to cut our grass field a little bit for our sheep. Or try to get ready for our sheep. But with this kind of rain and all that wind that you're hearing, uh, it's not going to go so well. So it looks like we're going to have to sit tight until this rain finishes. And then we'll have to see what we can do. Sure does look pretty though, doesn't it? Hmm. All right. Time to go play some solitary or something. Three hours later, we can see that the rain has stopped. We still have quite a few clouds in the sky. Uh, looks like everything's kind of passing over here. Quite a few puddles laying around in the yard. Of course, that normally happens after a rainfall like this. Yeah, let's uh, see what we got going on. Let's go check on our fields and see what we got for the day. As most of you remember in our last episode, we just got through planting some canola fields. It's been a little bit. So let's go check on them. Now, each day in game symbolizes an entire month. So, uh, you know, technically an entire month has gone by of these fields growing, getting ready to harvest. You know, it is a game still. Yeah, look at there. All right. So our canola fields are starting to grow. Everything's looking pretty good. Our nitrogen is just perfect. Who'd have thunk it? Our pH value, though, our, our lime has some uh, some areas where it's a little low, but we'll have to fix that on our next crop. Let's see what this side over here looks like. There's our forever puddle here. Man, that, that's never just gonna that's never gonna go away. <laughs> We're gonna be stuck with it forever. All right, looks like this field is looking pretty good as well. It's their first stage. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is our grass field. Uh, normally you can harvest grass pretty much year round when it comes to a lot of these maps. But if we look at ours here, grass, this is the last month that it's going to be harvestable. And I think the grass has just gotten to where we can cut it. So it's its first stage. It's not fully developed like I like, but if we want to get into any sheep here this year then we're going to have to get this harvested like here soon so as you can see it is harvestable but let's go over there and let's go check on the uh, field let's see how it looks like i said i think it's in the very first stages of being harvested so it could grow a little bit more but uh i want to check it out and that may be on our agenda for today now there may be some days where we're going to run into not a whole lot of work to be done and we'll probably just fast forward through a few days. Like we're coming up on winter. And most of you that play this game, you know that winter months, there really isn't a whole lot to do unless you're into logging. And we are focusing on agriculture in this playthrough for the most part. Now, that is not to say that we may not, we may buy a plot of land that has some trees and we may end up doing some logging. Not 100% certain yet, but we'll see what happens when we get there. So let's over here, check out our grass field, see where it's sitting at. Um, so we can start working towards getting our sheep going. It is a little slow start when you play like this. I'm trying not to do any contracts, but we may be stuck doing some here soon though, just so we can stay busy. Oh, look at there, look at that field. That one's gonna have a uh, pretty much a water hole in it. A lot so that may be one that you may want to avoid when purchasing a, a field I really like this mod it's a it's an REA mod that does that or one of the REA mods all right so let's get over here let's check out our grass field let's see so yeah like I said it's barely able to be cut but we can cut it and that would hopefully get us started on the sheep so let's go ahead, head back to the farm. Let's get our mower and let's see how much grass we can get out of this. 
because we're not going to be able to cut it throughout the rest of winter. So we definitely want to try to get a crop in today if we can. That would really help us out a lot. Here we are, ready to pick up our mower that we have. It's not very big. Looks like it's just a, a blade that's going to run back and forth and pretty much... Uh, yeah, I'm struggling with words over that one. It's pretty much it's just a simple saw blade that's going to cut the grass. Nothing extravagant. Very simple, minute mower here. But it's going to get the job done so we can get a better mower. But, I mean, hey, if this one cuts the grass, then let's, let's go for it. Don't see any problems there. We have arrived at our grass field. Let's go ahead and unfold our equipment let's see how well this mower works here well this thing is definitely slow wow i did not think it would take that long all right so do we have any adjustments on this maybe nope nope all right then We'll just turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, this does not have a very big cutting width. I can already see that this is going to take a little bit. All right, so I made a slight change to our seasons in the gameplay because I noticed that we were getting lots of rain consistently. So I'm going to take and set a two day uh, month in our system. Now, whether we use the two days or not, uh, that's to be seen. Uh, the main reason that I set up the two days was in case one day ends up raining all day long and we can't get any work done, but yet say a field needs to be harvested. Oh, there I go, messing it up. All right, let's see if we can get that unfolded again. There we go. And uh, so that way we would still have a day to be able to harvest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even if uh, we had a rain day to where we were completely rained out. So we'll probably end up skipping a day um, on top of, uh, or just, just skipping an entire day each month. And we'll be using it just as a fail safe in case uh, we do get rained out for an entire day and we can't harvest anything. So that's going to be the primary goal of the, that two-day month. So <clears throat> when we run into the next season, if you see multiple days on there and you're like, well, Yosho, you're never playing on the second day. How come we're not seeing all the work? Well, that's just because I'm not really playing on that second day. We're just using it as a precautionary me measure. So other than that, that's about the only change that I've made to, I guess you could say, our rules for the gameplay on this one. Again, not really anything very strict. Uh, just trying to make it a little more enjoyable, but yet with some structure. So, I'll see you whenever uh, we get done with this film.
finishing up the field now. Look at there. All right. So it looks like we got quite a bit of grass out of this field, more than I thought we would have. We will see how this goes whenever we go to pick it up with the forage wagon. But first things first, let's go ahead and head on over and get our windrow so we can get this in rows. That'll make it a lot easier to pick up with that forage wagon. I was trying to cover every square inch with that thing would take forever. Let's head on back to the farm. Let's get our windrow and get these things in nice, neat, or try to be neat rows. Uh, so it'll be easier for that forge wagon to pick up. I'm not sure if we can put food in the pen just yet without the sheep. So we may actually have to go buy sheep first. So we're looking at having to rent a trailer because we don't own one. And we'll need something to haul the sheep in unless we pay the delivery fee, uh, which may actually be cheaper than renting the trailer. That's something that we're going to have to look into here. Let's get this thing returned back to the yard. Uh, grab the windrow and head back out to the field to get them in rows. Maybe I need to get me a shed for these things sooner or later. All of these implements are out here in the weather. The rain that we've been having here lately in this area it can't be good for them. All right. The animation on that thing takes a little bit. I'm not used to having to wait for things to unfold and stuff to let loose like that. I probably accidentally connected them back together, not realizing that I was waiting for the animation to take place. All right, so we got our windrow. Let's head on back out to our grass field. It's not a very big windrow. It's small, but, you know, it's a small field. Uh, we don't need much. We need enough just to keep from having to make as many passes as possible so what we can do is we can pass on both sides and uh, put them all in the same row so that'll, that'll help a little bit so every other row we'll have to swing by and pick up with the forage wagon but simple process nothing much to it just a bunch of rakes that spin around in a circle and put them in put the grass in a row All right, so let's pull in over all these wonderful bumps that there's nothing I can do about. I tell you, the road to this field is terrible. All right, so we're going to probably make a couple of loops around the outside edge of this field. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened. We'll back up here to start on the edge of this field and turn it on and get it started you know, grass work has uh, always been kind of interesting on farming simulator I was playing on one uh, multiplayer server that I ran on twitch for a while and we were trying to build a what we called the dairy empire and it seemed like every time I turned around that's all I did was cut grass so everybody came and they, they started turning it into a joke to where they called it the grass simulator instead of farming simulator but I mean every Every live stream, we were just we were just cutting grass. That's that's all we did. But whenever you're trying to feed, you know, hundreds of cows, I guess that's uh, kind of how it works. You think that we were, well, we were playing on Erlingrot, which is one of the base game maps, maps, and we already had quite a bit of grass fields to go with, so it just made sense. We had the grass equipment, so why not? Eventually, I was planning on getting into chaff, so that way we didn't have to cut as much grass, but we never did make it that far on that uh, multiplayer server. All right, so let's uh, see if we can manage some of these corners here, and then we'll get into the time lapse. Finish up these fields, and we'll probably go straight into the time lapse on the forage harvester, or not forage harvester, but the uh, loading wagon as well. Really no sense in uh, stopping in between those, but we'll see what happens. I might have something to say in between them, but so yeah, let's stay uh, a little focused. Let's get this done as quick as we can. And we'll see what's next with the sheep.
just as I feared. We cannot dump this in here without any animals to feed. So let's see, animal loading and load loading area. Let's see, what kind of sheep do we plan on getting here? Let's see, so we can go with a lamb, female sheep, a male ram. We'll go with just your regular sheep. Oh man, we got lots of options here. Oh boy. So, and then we can actually go goats if we wanted to. Um, let's stick with just the sheep for now. And let's go with our classic. Yeah, Stein Schaff, I guess is how you would say that. And we'll go ahead and get a few of these full grown. We'll say about 10 of them for now. Let's see how that goes. So we're going to buy 10 sheep. Or just under 2,000. There they are. They're all out there. And let's see if it will let me feed them now. Should. At least I would hope it did. Let's see. What's my key? Unload here. Wow, not letting me unload. There we go. I guess I just had to back up a little bit more. Wasn't quite in the spot. All right, so we're going to get the feed unloaded here. Not sure where the visual representation of it is. All right, so it does show up here in the trough. I believe so. Let's see here. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more grass than that, though. All right, so let's go get some more of it. Now that we have sheep, we have a reason to cut more grass now. I have a feeling they're going to plow through that grass a little faster than I want them to, though. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of that grass picked up, see where we're sitting at, and then we'll go from there. That looks like that's gonna be it for the grass in our field here. Let's go ahead and get this grass back to our new sheet. And we'll look and see what this field needs as far as fertilizer and lime. We might be able to top it off a little bit before the winter months get here. Who knows, we might be buying that spreader a little sooner than we thought. Although we do have to keep an eye on our money. We are running only 26.5 on our funds here 26,500 to be exact we have to be careful though because uh, i really do not want to take out a loan if at all possible i have a feeling it's going to be inevitable but we're going to have to take one out sooner or later but i'm trying to avoid it as much as i can so sheep will be happy to get this then we need to look into some water and uh, see what we what we need to give them for that because I know water is a thing for the sheep we have the grass and we should be good to go with that it should be all they need but we'll we'll look into that here in just a second and see if we're missing anything all right let me see if I can get my camera to work for me here Right. 
Get this grass dumped for them. Hopefully that'll fill up their food trough. All right. Nope, not fully. So that's a good and a bad thing. Good in that we don't have any leftover. Bad in that it's not filled up completely. So we may have to buy some grass bales in the future here for the winter months to hold us over. So we're going to go ahead and part this thing over here. Hopefully I can get that grass filled right here next to us for too long. That would be nice. So we're going to plant this forge wagon here. So I can remember which button it is to, to let go here. I know it's one of these. Maybe. Nope, that's not it either. That's our headlights. Yeah. That's our beacons. That's to get out of the tractor. I know it's got to be one of these. Which one is it? Nope, that's our store. That's our map. Uh, which button was it? There it is. That's the one. I found it after cycling through probably all the buttons twice. All right, so let's see what we got for our sheep here. So we are not even a quarter of the way on our food here. So that, that could be a problem. And it looks like uh, goats are what's going to give us milk, not the sheep. They do need water. So let's go ahead and uh, get the water trailer hey mr sheep how did you get out of your pen hey you 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 need to get back in that pen go shoot here here let me let me open the gate for you or just teleport through the food trough okay all right well that works all right so let's get over here Let's get our water trailer. Let's go hit up the watering hole and we'll get them some fresh water. So that way we can actually start making some wool. Who knows? We may actually get into the clothing line. You never know what we got planned. <clears throat> now I know there's a watering spot on the way to town over here. I'm sure there's probably another one somewhere else. But I just happened to see it whenever we head to the store a lot of times. So I'm going to use it. Hopefully it doesn't cost us a whole lot to use this water spot. If so, then we're going to see if we can find us a lake. Or I wonder if you can get water out of one of these puddles. That would be kind of interesting. Although it wouldn't be clean water, but I mean. Might save you a trip. All right, so around this corner up here is a watering spot. Looks like it has a pump and a few other things. So we're going to check it out, see how well it works and how much it costs. This is the bridge and right up here is where the water pump is going to be. All right, so we're going to pull up to it. We should be able to hit R. Looks like it's filling up and it doesn't like it's charging us a dime. Nice. Free water. You gotta love it. So it looks like it's pulling it out of the stream there. Possibly. Is that what I'm getting out of that? I wonder if I can get out of the tractor and it still fill up. Yeah, look at that. So it looks like it's pulling it out of the stream and pumping it in probably through this uh, water tank, uh, water filter. All right, so we're full. Let's go ahead and loop back around and head back to the farm. 
Here you go, sheep. I got you some fresh water. Hopefully you like it. And you enjoy it. You got you some fresh grass to eat. Now some fresh water to drink. You're going to be some happy sheep. Happy sheep or good sheep, right? There we go. Some water put in this trough. We'll see how much this trough actually holds. All right, so it took every bit of that. Oh, really, is that the only water that that thing holds? Oh, boy. So we're going to be making a couple of trips to fill this water up. And, uh, I guess I'll see everybody when I get done. Looks like it done got dark on me. Uh, I did leave the time at five times speed though, to try to simulate a bit faster passing of days. Or maybe I can utilize some of those two day months. So we're gonna see how the five times speed, that, that gives me about a time limit of playing. So that way I don't have such long videos like I did in the last one. The last one, there was just so much stuff that happened in it, it made it for a pretty long watch. I would like to try to keep these videos around 30 minutes if I can, so that way uh, people can enjoy it and have the time to sit and watch it without dedicating too much time to it. You know, we kind of break these up a little bit. So we're going to try leaving it at five times speed. We'll see what happens. There may be times that I may slow it down a little bit so we can get more work done, depending on what we need. Because, I mean, you can only do so much in a day, and then you run out of things to do, and then you do have to progress the day to the next, uh, to the next one. But we are going to probably make this the last load for the sheep. Uh, apparently these are some really thirsty sheep and we can put a lot of water in this pen. I done lost track of how many trips that I've made. Those of you that have been watching the stream, I'm pretty sure you've counted. Uh, we'll check the uh, water level, water level as soon as I get this unloaded here. We'll see what we got. When it gets dark, it gets dark, don't it? All right. While this is unloading, we're going to do a quick save here. Yeah, see that we're not even halfway with the water yet. 
So it looks like this uh, pin can hold quite a bit. Yep. All right, well, let's get this over here in part. We will resume this on the next game day. Which should be December. And I think that actually starts our winter time frame, doesn't it? I'll have to look again and we'll see. And if that's the case, then we'll start our two day months then or what some people are calling seasons even though it's not really seasons it's giants uh they call months i guess instead of seasons it's a different mod in 19. Uh, some things are definitely different in seasons versus giants version of it there's pros and cons of both that i like but this is what we have we don't have the seasons mod anymore, so we're making do with what we got. I don't think I've ever ran an episode this late in the day before. Just really trying to get a lot of that done. And as we can see, it didn't happen. Just kind of hoping we can get a little bit more done on some of the other fields. Uh, we do need to See if we need to lime that other field real quick here. All right, so let me go ahead and get out of here. Close the door on that. Again, I'm running the texture pack on here, if you didn't notice. Uh, it does seem to make the game a little bit darker, so I'm not sure when it gets dark like this if I really like it. Although, in the winter time, it does get pretty dark, so. All right, so let's head over here. Let's see, this here was the field that I was curious about. Let's see, it needs rolling. What if I turn that off? And all right, so it does need rolling, which is gonna to be too late come tomorrow. Let's look at this and see what we have here. Looking pretty good on the grass. Uh, it does need some nitrogen though, so we will need to fertilize this come tomorrow. So we'll start working on that tomorrow, get that fertilized. It's like our yield is gonna be terrible in this field. Soil information looks good, though. Yeah, it's probably going to take a little bit to get this field up to par. So, well, it looks like that's going to be it for our episode, episode number four. As always, everyone, be safe. We'll see you next time.